almost 70 miles of road that we open every year. And so we start in April, basically with a clearing around Paradise. You know, we plow to Paradise year round. The parking areas are predominantly clear snow, but all the buildings around Paradise require extensive snow removal. So it's steep pitch buildings that, you know, can get drifts and cornices, and so it's pretty slow work. So anyway, all told, you know, there's probably another dozen buildings, significant sized buildings that, re that require um, snow removal at Paradise and then some areas, and that takes us another three weeks. After we finish at Paradise, we start in on the Valley Road, and we go in from the west, and we clear up the fourth cross, and is where we get into some serious avalanche hazard so we, when we get to those chutes we stop and we come back to Stevens Canyon and that's where we are now and so we'll continue from we start on the west just because it's easier for us because our, uh, our equipment's all staged out of Longmire and uh, it makes it pretty easy for us to get up and plow and then we'll continue to the east and when we finish Stevens Canyon we'll go around on uh, 410 and 123 will usually be open by then and we'll start on this White River up to Sunrise. When we finish that we come back and finish the Valley Road and after that we'll go and get Mowage, which is the last one to open. So it's a it's, you know it's a it's a three month operation. My name is Michael Ray and I'm the lead operator here for the road crew at Mount Rainier National Park. Uh, for spring road opening, actually it, it entails cleaning snow from around buildings at Paradise, uh, some of the trailheads, and then starting out on the main roads and just cutting the snow down with the dozers to a depth that the rotaries can get through it and then blowing the snow off the road. Yeah, so for instance, if the snow is 20 or 30 feet deep, then the dozers will take off the top you know, 25 feet or whatever the case is. We have to get it down to about 50 inches so that the rotary can actually go through it. Um, so the dozers will remove all that snow from the top portion. And then the rotaries will remove the bottom portion so that we can expose the road. And so once you get it down to a certain depth and the, the rotaries can actually progress pretty fast. And, and it also does a real clean job and it also protects the road surface. If the dozers were to be on the road surface, you'd have damage on the road surface. It's not all forward progress, like you can see, it's, uh, it's snowing. Uh, visibility can get kind of hard, and the other thing is after clearing and before opening, we still have to put up signs. There's a lot of signs that put up. We take those down every year because a winter up for a sign will be, you know, our, the, the snow creep, if we get lateral loads, will, it'll shear it off the, breakable, the breakaway signposts or some of our interpretive ones that are not breakaways, they'll, they'll get pretty damaged. And so we have a little uh, code system you might check out. Um, we paint on the center line the location of where the signpost is, and then we'll have to clear out with the excavator, but it's a lot faster than hand digging. And then we uh, bolt up the new sign booth. You know, originally when the roads were designed and built, they were built to enhance all the visual uh, things in the park, you know, the, the overviews and and places where you can look at the canyons and, you know, see the mountain better and what have you. So they're not necessarily built um, in a situation or in, in such a way that it makes driving the easiest possible. Um, they're built more for the view and the experience. And so with that being said, it makes it tougher sometimes to plow it just because it's not a nice straight road or whatever.